Now, it is time for the Price is Right Price Game Recap for Episode B from Friday, September 24, 2010. And the pricing games played in Episode B were the following. Card game, half off, double prices, high low, magic number, and money game. The first contestant was Dennis. He played card game for a Zion TC. He had to come within $2,000 of the actual retail price of the car without going over as he drew the car that he had to come close to. He first drawed a 2, so $200 to add to the 15000 as the starting price, so I had 15200 there. He drew another card and it turned out to be the Ace. Now, as always in that game, the Aces are wild. And he used the ace. He made a bid of $10,000 on it, making his grand total $25,200. Hmm, $10,000 on an ace. Well, let's see what happened. The actual retail price, $18,570. He went over big time. Maria played half off. And she managed to get rid of half the boxes three times, and because of that, she got a $1,000 bonus. But the $10,000 was the biggest prize. It came down to boxes 6 and 11. She chose number 11. After Drew counted to three, Maria found no $10,000. It was number 6. And I thought six when I was playing along. All is not lost, though. She won a thousand, like I mentioned, as a bonus. Antonella played double prices for a baby grand piano, played by guest announcer J.D. Roberto, and ten private piano lessons. She chose the high price of eighteen thousand five ninety over the low price sixteen thousand one hundred. When the price was revealed, it was sixteen thousand one hundred. I think Antonelle looked to the audience for help on that. Mm -mm. I advise contestants not to do that because it'll lead to this. Anthony played high low for a trip to Rio de Janeiro. For the three grocery items he believed that were the most expensive, he first chose the trash bags. Good choice. That was seven twenty nine. He then chose the Land O'Lakes butter, four thirty nine. He then chose the simple green cleaner, that was five twenty nine. So the low price on the high row was four thirty nine. If the remaining three grocery products were less than four thirty nine, he'd be a winner. The box water, dollar seventy nine. The prunes from Sunsweet. Two ninety nine came down to the Jello No Big Cheesecake. If that was less than four thirty nine, he'd be a winner, and it was three twenty nine. Anthony's on his way to Rio. I hope he'll live it up there. Diana played magic number for a barbecue and a tiki hut. She set the magic number to eight hundred seventy eight dollars. I think her friends told her to put it at that price. Now the tiki hut was that. Lower than the magic number, 2,795. Ah, uh, very low. Now, was the barbecue higher than the magic number? 1,636. Should have been between 1637 and 2,794. I think her friends were uh, smoking a lot and weren't thinking straight. So I don't blame the loss on Diana, I blame it on her friends. And my favorite contestant from the show, Alyssa, played money game for a Hyundai Genesis. The middle number was six. She first chose 24 behind it, front of the car. Second pick, she chose 95 behind it, dollar sign. Third pick, 
chose 55 behind it, another dollar sign was up to $150. She then chose 49 behind it, dollar sign up to 199 She was down to her last chance. She chose 80 behind it, dollar sign. She won $279. I really wanted her to say 73 because that was the pair of numbers, the pair of two numbers, that was the back of the car. Oh! Well, Hilo was the big win in episode B, and we also gave away a total of $2,779. A thousand was won by Marie and half off for her elimination boxes bonus. Five hundred was won by Diana for a perfect bid. And and my 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 uh, my favorite, Alyssa won one thousand two hundred seventy nine dollars. She won two hundred seventy nine dollars in money game and a thousand in the second showcase showdown. And I got this song just like for Nash in episode A for all those who won cash on the Price Is Right. Money makes the world go round and round and round. Money makes the world go round and round and round and round. And this week's sponsor of the Price is Right Pricing and Recaps was Team LA. The online store where I got my Price is Right hat. There it is. And this this Plinko t-shirt that only the Miz can describe it as I could not agree more, Miz. You suck as a wrestler, but I just had to use you for my voice cameo. Alright, Price is Right fans. See you tomorrow.